top of the food chain, rap with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail. Yo guys, what is going on Tim Percent? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a re really clean YouTube banner in Photoshop. It's going to be really easy to do, but it'll look really sick in the end. Basically, the background is going to have circles in it, but it's going to look really cool with like shadows and stuff. Kind of like an eSports style, um, but yeah, it's going to look really nice. So let's just get straight into it. Also, hit the like button if you haven't already. That would really mean a lot. Subscribe if you are new and yeah let's just get straight into it the first thing you want to do is open up a YouTube banner template um, go to the circle tool go to ellipse right there make sure it's an offset white so just not completely white then hold shift and make a circle right in the middle and rasterize it and then put it right in the middle and then make it a bit short small by holding shift and alt like so then you want to Duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J and press Ctrl T and make it bigger. Something like that. And then you want to bring it below um, the first one. Then you want to bring the fill down all the way and go to Inner Shadow. And you want to bring up the choke and the size. And then you can move, move the distance around. So. Basically, I'm going to alternate, so I'm going to have it so the shadow's more at the top, and then for the next circle, I'll have it at the bottom, so it looks really cool. And then you can bring down the opacity, so it should look something like that. Okay, next thing you want to do is just duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J, and press Ctrl T, flip horizontal, no, hit flip vertical, and then press Shift and Alt and make it bigger. And then you want to double click on the layer style and then we'll mess around with the uh, inner shadow again. Um, so, let's think. Oh yeah, we'll change angle around to minus 90. So it's at the bottom this time. Does that do it for both? Yeah, it does it for both. I think if we raster, rasterize that, press Ctrl T, flip vertical, there we go. That looks better. Um, next thing, rasterize the other one. So now we want to duplicate the bigger one, press Ctrl T, flip vertical, and then make this one bigger. Something like that. And then you want to think, yeah, right, that's right. Uh, press Ctrl J again, flip vertical, and make it bigger. And as you can see, they're fading off, and this is the kind of effect we want to go for. You can also rotate it if you want. Certain parts can be darker than the other. So on this side, it's darker, that one's lighter. Press Ctrl J again, make it bigger. And then you can rotate it or flip horizontal so it's more darker on this side now and it gives it a really nice effect I think this looks really cool and then for the last part you can make you could make this a little bit darker right, we'll leave that we'll leave that um, I think we'll add one more circle so if you just press ctrl J and then let's zoom out and make this one bigger Leave it like that. You can rotate it. Make it a little bit bigger. So there we go. That's the background kind of done. So we can group all of these circles on the outside together. And maybe if we can add like an inner glow to some of them. Let's see what this can do. I think we'll just leave it as that for now. 
Anyway, so for the centre circle, what we're going to do is go to the layer style, go to gradient overlay, bring down the opacity a little bit. You can add an inner shadow on this one as well. And then we'll bring down the opacity. You can add an inner glow to this one, and then bring it to overlay. There we go, that's looking nice. So in the center, that's where this, I think we'll have the text. So next thing we want to do is just rasterize that, add a new layer, and then whatever color you have been using, you want to go to it. And we're going to add some color overlays in certain places. So maybe one there, one there. Just alternate, color dodge, see what looks best. I think color dodge looks okay, and then we can just bring down the opacity. Nice. Next thing we're going to do is go to the rectangle tool, and at the bottom, we're going to make a thin line. And we want to make sure it's white. And then rasterize it and change that to overlay. Like so. Then you want to duplicate it and bring it to the top. And make it a similar length and then we're just going to rub away certain parts and then do the same for the bottom there we go um, so the next thing we're going to do is add a new layer again um, and then go to black and then round the outside we're going to add a shadow Bring down the opacity of that and then go to white and then we'll zoom out a little bit and then at the top you just want to add one spot of white a bit small there we go bring down the opacity of that and then in certain places we're going to add another overlay so maybe one here one here just like this and then set that to overlay and bring down the opacity of that a little bit. Next thing we are going to do is add some colour corrections at the top. So if you go to grind some contrast, bring that down, bring up the contrast. Colour curves, something like this. Make it a little S shape. Exposure, bring the exposure up. And then bring up the offset bring up the gamma correction and then go to color balance and basically whatever color you've been using you want to make that color so bring magenta over to magenta bring over the blue and cyan I think and then you can add a photo filter as well so I'm going to choose purple and then we'll group all that together and as you can see it makes it look a lot better it makes everything pop out a lot more um, <clears throat> so next one we are going to do is on the white ellipse in the middle we're going to add some more just maybe like a drop shadow or something something like that um, and the next thing we're going to do is go to file open and basically if you've not got a 10kg effects pack make sure you go check it out on my channel and you basically just want to open that up the 10kg effects pack I know most of you have already got it but if you don't make sure you go install it and you want to go to overlays and I think you can basically choose any I think I'm going to go with this one right here and set this to purple so if you just press ctrl u make sure you put it to the color you've been using so, and then we'll bring it below everything, and then make it bigger. And then we'll just scroll through the latest styles a second. And then what you can do is actually just rub away certain parts. So, 
So that's looking pretty cool so far. So the next thing, we're just going to add some text just for now, just to see what it looks like. Uh, by the way guys, if you want to unlock this template, make sure you smash 200 likes on this video. And then I will release the template for you guys. I think we'll choose like a purple for this. Maybe if we made this circle We could do something like this Add an inner shadow Change that to overlay. Maybe that'll look better, and then we could make this text white. Um, so what we're going to do next is underneath the colour corrections, which is this right here, I think, yeah, we'll just name that for CC. Um, you want to add, you want to add a rectangle going right through the middle. Make sure it's black. Just make a rectangle going through the middle. You want to rasterize it and put it right in the middle. And change that to, I think, overlay or soft light. And then bring down the opacity of that. And what you can do is just rub away certain parts. Like so. And then we'll put the name right in between that. Like so. You can also add official channel of. white again but maybe a bit that's, a bit that's new make it smaller and then click this here character if you don't have that go to window and character and then you can just drag it across to here on the side and then you want to basically just increase this right here and then we'll put it right above it And then you can add like a drop shadow so you can so it stands out a bit more. And then bring down the opacity. So that's looking pretty cool. Um, next thing, I think this might look good as well if you do something like this. At the bottom. Just scroll through the latest styles. Good. Um, I think I might get rid of that. Um, now we're just going to add a few more overlays just to top it off. Just add one down there, one over here, bring down the opacity in there. And then we'll add a white spot at the top. Like so. And then I'm just going to add a few more colour corrections. So yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far, and as I said, it is really easy to do. It's mainly using the circles of the background, getting that right, and then you can basically do whatever you want over the top, like the colours and all that. And hue and saturation, we'll just see what colours look decent. 
That looks really nice, in my opinion. That looks very cool. That orange. Yeah, that. That orange looks very cool. But yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. There we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want this template, make sure you hit the like button. Like, let's get 200 likes. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on the notifications if you haven't already. And let me know what video you want to see from me next. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.